highest mountain to the shore, to the horizon, is our land. And so we have responsibility for, for all of that. This week's activities can really begin to create awareness about oceans as a major theme for the sustainability of the world. This is why we have this ocean conference, to ensure that there is ocean governance. When you have a, a Pacific Islander or an Inuit come before a group of people and tell them their story, it is hard to turn your back on that. For the first time, we are bringing knowledge to people, but we're also bringing the solutions, and you can see those reflected um, in the commitments that we were, were getting at the United Nations. We want to fight the plastic bags pollution in all the Mediterranean Sea. One thing that individuals really have power over is not drinking bottled water, not throwing all the plastics away. Every piece of plastic is persistent and so it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces and it becomes part of the food chain. But all of it for, for us is there, jobs are there, uh, innovation is there, energy, uh, clean energy is there from the ocean. 99% of the fishermen that are out there in our global oceans are hard-working people that uh, are out there collecting fish, highly nutritious dinner. Let's try and restructure the industry so that there will be a sharing of that. My friends, when they catch a tuna, they don't eat it. They save it because it's so expensive and they, they, they get a good value. And what they do with the money, they buy chicken from your country. Business is the deliverer of solutions and needs to be seen as a constructive good faith partner. There's far more energy and far more resources uh, outside the public sector than there is inside it. Ultimately, if we want to protect our seas, it is education. To really empower people to understand first better of what they're doing, change the way they behave, but also participate in cleaning up, and, and everyone can do that.